cinematic setting. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> it was, I mean, you can see it as a movie. Uh, any producers out there? <laughs> Raise your hand, famous movie people. Lots of hands on the They all look like they're about 15. Thank you. In this y'all. town, they all look like they're 15. <laughs> That's the great thing about the rest of development. It's that that 16 year old girl becomes a huge movie producer. Yeah. Um, well, and the 40 year olds look like they're 15 too. Mm-hmm. I, 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 have, I know people who every time I meet them, they look a decade younger <laughs> in Hollywood. Okay, so the character of Tiny, um, we now know that it was your idea, John. Yeah. But um, where did where did, did did Tiny spring full blown from the side of your head, or, or was it based on a real person, or what? Uh, Tiny Cooper is this uh, big gay guy who is uh, one of the main characters in Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and. No, uh, yeah, he kind of just fell out of the sky. I don't really know how that happened. I like to write, I knew I wanted to write a friendship, a story about a friendship between a straight guy and a, and a gay guy because I was really interested in the way that love gets sexualized and romanticized in our culture. And I wanted to um, write about, you know, the love in all of its variations, which David wanted to write about too, I think. Um, but no, I don't know. I was just writing him down. I had no... I was in my mother-in-law's basement. That's all I remember. <laughs> did, did he threaten to take over the book? Well, he does anyway, yes. but... He, he yeah, that doesn't bother me, though. I, I like novels um, where the main character, or one of the main characters, is not necessarily a narrator. Uh, my, my, one of my favorite books is All the King's Men, which is about, uh, you know, it's about Willie Stark, um, but it's not. You know? Yeah. And I think it, that was so part of Tiny Cooper's personality to take over the book. I mean, and I think one of the, we've talked about this, that, that he's not at all far-fetched to us, that we have met kids like Tiny Cooper. They might not be quite so large. Usually they are quite so gay. <laughs> just that have, like, life is a musical and they are the main character. And yeah. That's, and yeah. We want to write but about don't it. don't we all want to be that way? Okay. Yeah. At well, times. Yeah. It's tiring. I've tried. It's tiring. <laughs> in 30 cities I met a total of half this many people and uh, Aww. 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 <laughs> it's not easy being you I know. I know Kermit the Frog wrote a song about it called it's not easy being you <laughs> that was utterly accepted. Maybe not universally, but I mean, I wasn't universally accepted in high school either. Um, and so, and, and I found that really invigorating and interesting and exciting. Uh, yeah, at, at some point, uh, one of the uh, minor uh, characters uh, says uh, to the uh, straight Will uh, Grayson, how's it going, faggot? And it's not really an insult, it's more, or, or I don't know if it's an insult. I mean, is it an insult, or is this just the way kids talk? Did he mean it as an insult? I think it's the way kids talk. I don't know. I mean, I should know what you think about that. I'm trying to remember it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's in my chapter. It's in your chapter. Um, I'm like, I didn't say the way at that. <laughs> well, I want. I mean, I wanted to get it the way that, that teenagers can very casually use very hurtful language and not. They don't see it as an insult, but the fact that you don't say it as an insult doesn't mean it's not an insult. Like, if you say something racist, and then you say, I don't mean that racistly, <laughs> it's still racist. <laughs> and that, that's, a, that's even more of a problem, I think, in, uh, with regard to uh, homophobia, because the word gay, in particular, is, is so often used as a synonym for lame or uncool or whatever. Um, you know, don't be so gay, or whatever. That's the, the, the fact that you don't mean that homophobically does not change its essential homophobia. But well, what's interesting is that the, the Will Grayson character um, 
after, after the, the, the kid says something else, after, hey, how's it going, faggot? He goes, well, I guess they're still my friends. So he doesn't seem to take it as... And I just right, yeah, he doesn't funny. take it that way. Yeah. Um, yeah, he doesn't. And there are a few times in, in the novel where it's like that. Right, right. I mean, again, I think it's, it does go to intention and it goes to... So, I mean, I think with my will and a lot of my characters in other books, I mean, it is it is about claiming a bad word as your own. I mean, like, right. I know when, when Green Day says, yeah, I'm the fag of America, like, I, I pump my fist and I'm like, yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, but I think that that's meant, that's meant totally in a, like, you know what, you think of me this way, well, fuck you, this is who I am, and it's great. And I think that most of my books, and I think certainly Will Grace, and there comes a time where there, there are terms that, sort of from the wrong mouth, would be really hurtful and really hateful, but, at the same time, it, it turns it around. I mean, one of the one of the things we keep saying um, on tour, one of the scenes we keep reading on tour, is this great moment in one of John's chapters where where his will calls Tiny Cooper a cocksucker, and Tiny Cooper's like, "That's not a derogatory term." Like, and unfortunately, I'm not one yet. So, so I think that that is a great moment because it really it just takes this thing that you don't you just say and you don't actually think about what it means, and then like totally turns it. And I think it, we do that. Partially for the reader, and partially because it feels very true to the characters. Now, do you, are you guys like adults wearing, who are masquerading as teenagers, or teenagers who are masquerading as adults? What, what do you think? <laughs> I, I really think, I, 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 this will surprise the people who watch my videos maybe, but I really think of myself as, as a complete adult. Um, <laughs> that's, such a, that's such a kid thing to say. <laughs> I'm a grown-up. <laughs> I do, though. I, I love teenagers, and I want to work with them, and I want to talk about stuff that interests me with them, and I want to um, I want to do awesome stuff with awesome people. But I I don't think of myself as being uh, adolescent. I, I any more than I think that my high school English teachers thought of themselves as being in some way teenagery. You know, I just see it as those that, that's the people I'm kind of called to work with the most. So, I try to be a grown-up, yeah. I, I actually, I had a revelation the other day. I haven't even shared it with John, but it was, oh, wow. kind of, it was awesome. And I'm gonna share it with you all. Um, I, have, I have notoriously, and at length, and in print, and in person, railed against the teen young adult for our literature. I, I just think it's a strange term that nobody identifies with, because usually, you're talking about young adult versus adult. There's, oh, there are adult books, and then there's young adult. And I'm like, that's just idiotic. Like, say teen, or say whatever you want. And then, strangely, um, during one of our long car rides, or during some plane ride, I realized that, actually, we should create this dichotomy where the difference is between young adult and old adult. <laughs> <laughs> and Nobody's going to want to buy the Well, adult. exactly, exactly. And so, suddenly, this term that I really never liked, I was like, I totally identify. I am a young adult, because I right, like to do adult. young adult things, <laughs> and I'm not an old adult. So if you want to write old adult literature about, like, whatever, like, our marriage after 50 years, <laughs> that, that's great, go do it, but I want to write young adult. So, so, so now suddenly, and again, it'll probably turn next week, but I, I'm identifying as a young adult, that I do think I'm absolutely an adult, and I think it is a slippery slope writing teen literature, if suddenly you start to think you're one of the teens, because you're not. Um, unless you're Caleb Nation, or one of the teens who's writing, um, or in your young 20s writing. Um, Caleb, are you here? Yes. Um, for himself. Okay. So, so I think, um, I think, I think that you do, you come at it from an adult perspective, but at the same time, there is a certain youth to the writing and to what we feel like. Well,